Good morning, last night I rolled out two new updates to my free block theme builder. Today I'm gonna to show you what they are and how you can use them. In case you haven't seen it before, here it is. If you wanna go and use it yourselves, I will put a link in the description so you can go and build your own block themes today. And essentially you come onto my website, click this big build your theme button. This is all completely free by the way, and then pop in an email address and click launch your site. And one of the beauties about the block editor and Gutenberg now is that you can build an entire theme with no code whatsoever. I'm not gonna go into the full details of how to build your own block themes today using the block theme builder, but I have done a previous tutorial, which you can see up on the screen, link in the description below if you wanna wind back to the beginning and find out the full tutorial, go there and check that out. Today I just wanna focus on the two updates. The first is a new pattern manager, a new way to create your own block patterns. And secondly, now you can upload your own screenshots. Block patterns are groups of blocks put together in useful ways that you can use on your pages and posts. And there have been a variety of plugins that let you create block patterns on your sites, but WP Engine have just released a beta to a brand new plugin called Pattern Manager, which lets you add block patterns right into your theme, which I'm gonna show you today. The big advantage of this is it's fantastic for us that are creating block themes, because we can embed block patterns and then export the theme out. But those block patterns that we've added to our theme will be available to the users. So here's a quick look on how it works. You'll see I've added the plugin and now I have this brand new menu. And this is available if you're using the block generator as well, the block theme generator, you'll have this functionality. You click on patterns and that's gonna show you the new pattern manager that WP Engine have built for us. And we see all the existing patterns within this theme. That's what's great about this. Now, when I hover over each pattern here, I get these three little options. I get edit, duplicate, and delete. There is also a search box up here, so you can search for patterns, and you can see them here by categories. This theme actually doesn't have many categories involved, so they're all kind of lumped into the same one. But we can also do things like delete patterns. So if you want to clear out the patterns of the theme you're modifying to create a new block pattern, for example, my starter theme, you can just come in here now and delete any of these patterns that you don't want, which is fantastic. So you can clear stuff out and just add your own patterns, but it gets more exciting because you'll see top right, we have this create new pattern button up here. So let's create a brand new block pattern and you can design anything you like here. So I'm just gonna create a cover block with a call to action in it. And that now will be available as I'm building my site, as you'd expect, but it's also, which I'm gonna show you in a second, it's gonna be available within the actual theme files as well. So you see there, in feature, there's my new call to action box, which is cool in itself, so I can create block patterns, but where it gets really cool is that now is available right within the theme. So when I export the theme, that's gonna be a new block pattern available for the users of that brand new theme. So there's some really powerful stuff over here in the right with the block settings panel. The first option up here is to give your pattern a name. So I'm gonna call mine Jamie CTA. That just makes it easy for me to find. Then we've got pattern categories down here, so we can actually decide which categories of this block belongs to. So I'm gonna say this is featured, that's absolutely fine. Then we can give it some keywords so it's easy to search and an expanded description. It gets more exciting further on down below though. So here we have allowed post types. So you can decide where this pattern is allowed within your site. So we're starting to get some really interesting control aspects to where we can use this pattern. If you select nothing, it's available everywhere, but you could for instance say, right, I only want this to be available within my pages. Then we have this option beneath it called modal visibility, which I haven't tested fully yet, but I think what this means is you can create custom post types and make this block pattern available just to those specific post types. That sounds pretty exciting. Then we've got display in inserter if you want to, and that's that little icon up there, the normal block inserter. Then down here we have got blocks for transformation. So you've got some really cool controls on how these block patterns are gonna be used within your site. And I know reading the accompanying article to this plugin, which I'll put a link to in the description below, they've got some really cool, powerful ideas on how they're gonna extend this plugin going forward. Things like you're gonna be able to use them almost like reusable blocks where you can edit them here and have them automatically updated wherever you use them throughout your site. You can also detach them from that process as well. So kind of what we need in terms of reusable blocks. So that's that created. But what's really cool about it is it creates that block pan right within your theme file. So we're gonna get a little bit technical now, but let's go and see actually where that file is created within our theme. So if we just go to tools and theme file editor, so don't edit your theme files here. This would be a really, really bad idea, but I just wanna show you technically where these go. So then we go to patterns over here. And you'll see down here, it's actually created my Jamie CTA PHP file directly within the theme. The huge benefit of that, of course, is we can now export that theme out using the block builder. 
and this pattern is firmly embedded right within the theme files themselves, not in the database. So here's the theme I've built. It's a one pager website with this lovely smooth scroll and I want to export that. So I'm just gonna go back to my dashboard and then I'm gonna to go to appearance, create block theme. And this is the second big update that's coming with the block builder. It's an update to the create block theme plugin, which the builder uses. And now you can actually choose a screenshot for your themes without having to mess around. So there's my screenshot I've got already. And then as usual, you just give it a new name. So I'm gonna call it one page theme, give it a description, pop in your URL for your theme and your author, all that stuff that you'd normally do. And again, check out my previous theme building tutorial if you wanna see exactly what all these mean. The other cool thing they've actually added is the theme tags on here, which is fantastic because if you're gonna upload this to WordPress.org, which I'm gonna test actually to see whether this gets accepted. And then just create generate over here on the right, on the left down here. And there you go, there's your brand new theme with everything bundled within it. You wanna select clone the theme up here when you're creating your block themes. But your block patterns are in there, all your theme settings are in there, the entire theme is in there, the new screenshots in there, and now you can upload that to your new site or sell it on Gumroad, check out my previous tutorial, or sell it on Lemon Squeeze it, or sell it however you want to. But essentially from start to finish, you can build your own themes with no code, and now you can include block patterns. So let's test this out, let's see whether this actually worked. I'm gonna add a new theme, that new theme I just exported on this brand new clean website that I've just launched, and I'm gonna choose the file. There it is, there it is on my desktop. Let's load it up and install it. And hopefully it'll bring across the new theme with everything in it. Let's activate it with the new screenshot that I uploaded. There it is, fantastic, eh? that's really cool. Now the other thing actually that the block pattern manager is really useful for is adding starting content to your sites as well. So if I create a new page here, I've created a block pattern, which is essentially starter content. So if I go to patterns here and features, there's my one pager and essentially it's the full one page front page of the website all within that block pan. So one of the problems of actually building themes for users in the past has been the ability to create starter content and actually you can use the block pattern manager to do that for you. So that's a really good use case as well. Thank you for watching. The links to the block theme builder are in the description below. Go ahead and have a play with them. It's completely free. Create some beautiful stuff. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit the like button, that'd be amazing because it does really, really, really help spread the word of the video and the channel. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, watch one of these two videos and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.